Hey, this is your quick 10 minute practice. You don't need any props, though you could have them. You could have blocks or a table nearby just for some forward bends. I'm even in jeans. <laughs> My hair is down. <laughs> you can do this anywhere. All right, let's get started. Feet out a little bit wide. Just knees a little bit soft. Let's take the arms up. Inhale, palms up, lift the chest. Exhale, palms down, take the gaze down, arms down. You're gonna crisscross and rise up again. Inhale. Exhale, crisscross. Good, two more. Maybe switch the crisscross of your arms as you come down. Take it slower if you need to. Let's float it into what I call seaweed. So you're gonna just flow through just two times to each side. Make it feel good for your body, nourishing, nothing forcing. All right, come down. So feet are out about 11 and one. Hands are gonna come down like you're in a football stance, ready to go. Draw those shoulders back and down. We're gonna take a drop in with one shoulder. Take it to the uh, right gaze. Inhale back to center. Exhale, drop the right shoulder, left gaze. Good, just two more. Take it higher if you need to. This doesn't have to be a low bend. You could even have your hands on a table surface. Last one. Good, come back to center, rise up, inhale, greet the sky. Big stretch, grab one wrist, take it over to the side. Inhale, back up, grab the other wrist over to the other side. Good, we're back up and release. Take it out, right, right knee out, left knee is, or left foot is also out. Your right knee is gonna be your bender though. Just look down roughly. When you look down, your hip, knee, and your first two toes are roughly in alignment, just so you can um, find a nourishing spot for your joints. That might mean that the back foot is, I have a line here, but it's not completely lined in terms of my mat. I'm at a diagonal. That's just my body. Make it right for yours. Let's take a bend in. We're gonna strum that guitar. We're gonna sweep up and then you're gonna float it back. Reverse triangle as we reach up. And then we come back down, float it. Good, just a few more. We'll go two more. Go slower if you need. If the movement's too fast for your visual preferences, just slow it down. All right, next time down, we float it up, back around, and then we're gonna rise up. So I've got my front arm on my distal thigh or my far out thigh. You could come up a higher, you can even have it at your hand, or sorry, your hip. <laughs> Good, open up the shoulders. We're gonna cradle the head, open up that armpit, maybe gaze up to the left as you open that chest, last breath. Great, and then reverse it, rise back up, reverse triangle here and then exhale come back to center take those feet parallel to the sides of the mat inhale open up the chest we're going to exhale float it down you can stop at your thighs you can have a table surface in front of you some of you might be able to reach the floor my head staying roughly level to the ground though you could drop it i'm going to rock the hips side to side If your back is rounding here excessively or it's hard on any part of your body, just come up to a higher surface. Last breath here. All right, take an inhale, we lift back up. You're gonna flip that left foot out and then align up your legs as needed. Again, every side's different, so just check yourself on that left knee bend. You might be at a diagonal on your mat, it might not be level. All right, here we go. We're gonna bend in, rise up. Inhale, take it back, reverse triangle. We got three more to go. Good, last one. We'll end up in that side angle, so resting that front arm either on your thigh up, down, wherever it meets the, the most nourishing, and then rise up, lifting that arm up and over. Draw the shoulder blades open or the chest open. Clasp that head if it helps you. 
If you're there, open up the armpit as you create space from the back body and the front body. You could even have a chair in front of you. This could be up on a chair. You don't have to use your leg. Take one more breath. Inhale, exhale. We reverse it back up to reverse triangle. Press through those toes. Lengthen the upper body. And exhale, come back to center. Let's take those legs parallel to the outside. Inhale up, exhale, we take it forward again. You can stop at your thighs, you can keep your knees bent, you can have a surface in front of you. I'm gonna take it to the floor. Good, you could relax your neck or you could keep your head uh, in a more alert position. Maybe rock the hips side to side. Take an inhale, bend those knees a bit, exhale, and then inhale, slowly rise up. Good, reverse, back, heel toe back in. Give it a shoulder roll as I call my pelican, as you have ever joined me out on the beach. <laughs> my pelican dance. And we'll take those hands back behind you, legs can be open wide. Just take the arms back, open up the chest, and then maybe switch side to side. So you're gonna let the back heel come off the ground as you rotate so that your body doesn't get locked up there. Good, just one or two more. All right, bring it back in. Close down the palms to the center, elbows out. Base of the palms comes down towards your pelvis or your belly button. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. We take a grounding breath here together. All right, peace in. See you next time.